Welcome back to EW. Our celebrity couple update is between the hot Ryan Reynolds and the gorgeous Blake Lively. The couple was caught locking lips at a bed and breakfast in Utah. It looks like Blake got over to DiCaprio quite quickly. Now back over to Rick and Rob for the scoop on Amanda Knox and their Grammy picks. Blake Lively. <laughs> Once again, thank you, Danielle. This rapper went ham on the Grammy nomination concert last week, ranking in seven nominations, more than anybody else. Who am I talking about, Ricky? That's Mr. Kanye West. My favorite. He was slighted for album of the year, though. Ridiculous. Those nominations went to Rihanna, Lady Gaga, Adele, Bruno Mars, and the Foo Fighters. All these artists each had six Grammy nominations and will compete for the top album of the year and a mixture of other Grammys next February. So, Ricky, who's going to take it? So let me get this straight. Kanye West already got 10 Grammys. Right. Uh, but in, that, in, the, in the period since his last Grammy run, it goes on an incredible streak of a uh, bad press. Yeah. Maybe one of the worst that anyone's ever had. <laughs> Becomes villainized by the public. Comes back, leads the nomination field, and doesn't get album of the year. You think that's a direct slap in the face from the Grammy committee? How does it not? It's an Seven, absolute how slap you gonna say, in the face. Oh, you have the best production, the best sound engineering, the best lyrics, but you're not the, the best album, album of the year. Forget that's, it's, you. It doesn't make sense. CeeLo Green would say, forget you. It absolutely doesn't make sense. On that note, though, I think that album was really good. Did you get Adele's album this year? Uh, no. I'm not surprised, but it was really good. But I got Kanye's album. You did get Kanye's album. I liked Bruno Mars' album. Rihanna's album was sexy as ever. Oh, she's bad. And um, I think it's going to be a really tight race. The way the Grammys went last year with uh, Arcade Fire winning the big award, it shows that uh, anybody can just come in and swoop regardless of uh, radio plays. Hey, uh, Ricky, speaking of the big race, Herman I Cain. Gonna, I was going to read that. He, oh, go ahead. Herman Cain. Yeah, let me get that. You and that's the that, end man. of his presidential bid on Saturday, December 3rd, and dropped one last bombshell on the media. He admitted he quoted Pokemon, Pokemon during his campaign. Gotta catch them all. Kane says he quoted the song from the Pokemon 2000 movie during several speeches saying, quote, life can be a challenge. Life can seem impossible. It's never easy when there's so much on the line. But you and I can make a difference. There's a mission just for you and me. Kane's presidential mission is apparently over, though. What do, you, what do you make of Herman Cain? Ridiculous. I, I mean, he's quoting Pokemon. He's quoting I mean, Pokemon. Can the leader of our nation quote Pokemon? Absolutely is that, not. I mean, how immature is that? If you're still calling Herman Cain possible leader of the nation, you really got to... The things that he tried to say in his run was absolutely outrageous. I can't even keep talking about it. Let's That's, move on. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it seems that Amanda Knox is still making headlines and uh, might be coming to a bookstore near you. She has recently signed a book deal with the well-known lawyer and literary agent Robert Barnett. For those of you who don't know, Mr. Barnett has signed book deals with big political figures such as Barack Obama, our president, Bill Clinton, our former president, George W. Bush, former president, Hillary Clinton, Sarah Palin, and Dick Cheney. So is, her, is this her way of making an updated version of O.J. Simpson's uh, If I Did It? No, because I really, I really don't think she did it. And I think this is really cool for Amanda Knox because... Some people say, hey, she's getting more exposure. She's riding her 15 minutes out. But this is the 15 minutes that Amanda Knox really didn't want. If you guys are like, hey, who's Amanda Knox? Because we're in college, we don't really know. She was tried for murder in Italy, and Italy really thought that she did it. She became public enemy number one. And it's, it's going to be cool to see her story out on pages. I think that guy's going to really do a really good job. I actually really want to read it. All right, Rick. Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we're going to send it back over to Will and Danielle. Thanks, guys. Uh, I can't believe that Kane used a line from Pokemon. It's scary that he was running to be president, even though I love Pokemon. You know it was just a publicity stunt by Kane, so he could just sell his book. Hey, Will, who do you think is going to win uh, Top Album of the Year? You know, I'm not sure. It's probably going to be a close one. I got money on Gaga. I mean, it's Lady Gaga. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Just ahead, our music master, Gabe, along with the songs that are topping off the charts and your album of the week. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 